Tomorrow I've got to be a convincing granny basher. <laughs> oh, well, what are that about that? Girl, you're so racist. <laughs> the slightest stint of a Cockney accent don't mean to say I go around coshing old ladies, you condescending runt. <laughs> Who ate all the pies? Who ate all the pies? You fat bastard, you fat bastard, you ate all the pies! <laughs> Hello, what's that crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out some gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> Season 1, episode 2. Episode 1 was very, very good. I really enjoyed it. I told you guys I'd do it every week. Right now I'm doing just still game and gimme, gimme, gimme. Those are the two main shows I'm doing. And then in between I'm doing a lot of uh, comedy reactions, other stand-ups and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, uh, let's go. Midnight, won't somebody help me chase the shadows away? Birmingham. Give me. <laughs> Listen to that. They're at it again. Josh, you. I don't know why Jez is wasting his time on a boiler like Sue's when he's got the likes of me bang on top of him. <laughs> you wish, you big wench. Now shut up. Wait. I'm visualizing. Is this, is this the black guy that they told they slept with that they saw half naked in the, in the kitchen? I think there's a black guy and a girl. I think so. But like they both thought slept with him. I think so. I think so. Let's see. What? Visualizing. Read about it in a magazine. What you do is you turn upside down, you let all the blood rush to your head, and then you imagine something that you really want to happen, and it happens, and it's true that. <laughs> 50 million. What are you imagining then? Leonardo DiCaprio riding about on top of you, having nothing but a smile. <laughs> no. You must know, I was imagining myself on the set of Peak Practice. <laughs> Getting a bed bath from Sir Simon Shepherd. Lovely. <laughs> well, I've been with my new agent a month now and not a dicky bird, so I've decided to take up positive thinking and make things happen. Couldn't make that kettle ball called Jimmy T's gone cold. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't make that kettle ball. Yet. <laughs> oh. Who's drinking at this bloody time in the morning? I don't know, I'm not psychic. Well, pick it up then. You pick it up. I'm a little bit tied up at the moment. I'm mascaring me air. <laughs> Hello, leave a message. <laughs> Hi, Tom. Norma here. Sorry to ring so early. It's my agent. It's my Just agent. As you know, we've got you an audition. It's tomorrow. It's 10.30 and it's for a show called Crime Watch UK. <laughs> you're the part of a suspected granny bash during a reconstruction and you're to wear <laughs> navy slacks. Navy slacks. It's cockney, it's working class, and it's real life. I know it's a stretch, darling, but think East Enders and be butch. Phone the office this afternoon for more info. Ciao, darling. Get me Sue Pollard on line five. <laughs> Linda! Linda, it worked! I'm going to play a cockney. <laughs> right, I'm going to check the post. And will you put some clothes on, please? You're bringing up me toast. <laughs> Were you reaching for my knocker there, Jess? Hi, Linda. <laughs> uh, there's some post here for you. Oh, I should get myself a sl- Why are you giving your neighbour the letter in your boxes? Is it me or is that, that's just wrong? I do not want to open my door and see <laughs> my neighbour wearing boxes giving me and the missus a letter. I don't want to see that. <laughs> Slot, then you could slip it through on a regular basis. Post here for you. Oh, I should get myself a slot, then you could slip it through on a regular basis. <laughs> Morning then, Jesmy old China. <laughs> An hilarious accent. Liverpool. I've uh, got an audition, you see, so I'm just uh, practicing my Calm oral down. technique. <laughs> it's crime watch UK. Mm. Probably be rubbing shoulders with Jill Dando before the week is through or something. Oh, I suit me out for it. Yes, going. Geordie, right? Well, not totally tickety boo, actually. Oh yes, whatever's the matter. Bloody smegs on the blink. Mm -hmm. Didn't sound like it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Smeg a cooker, Linda. Oh. <laughs> no laughing matter. Have you tried eating pop tarts on a set of Carmen rollers? Be lucky to be out of the house by twelve. Ah, oh, jolly bad luck strike alike. <laughs> Glasgow. Get out of my way, please. Get out of my way, please. Ow! Well, I suppose it'll have to be Chinese takeaway tonight, hmm? Can we play hide the tofu dumplings like last time? 
Oh, Tom, congrats on your audition. Oh, yeah, that's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Um, well, look, um, why don't we sort of all celebrate my good news? Why don't you come over for dinner tonight and I'll cook a fantastic spinach pie? You are looking at a committed vegetarian, Tom, so thumbs up, say I. <laughs> I'd better just go and water again, Miss Spinach. <laughs> <laughs> what you, what you Good morning. <laughs> I've got one thing to say to you. What? Spinach pie. Uh, you. you know what your problem is, don't you? You're bitter. Oh, am I? Yeah. Stuck in a job you don't enjoy, answering the telephone, twiddling around with your little switchboard. <laughs> <laughs> There's no joy in your life at all. Listen, mate, you don't know how Listen, important mate. I am in the early burly world of media communications. <laughs> One slip of these fingers and the whole entertainment output of Channel 5 would literally disappear. <laughs> Yes, and wouldn't that be a shame? <laughs> and you've never made a spinach pie in your life. Winnie Mandela did it last night on Celebrity Ready Steady Cook, all right. <laughs> State of you. One audition in six months. Blimey, you'd think the Pope had come out. <laughs> this could be it, Linda. This could be my big break, you know. I could be up there on the TV screen reconstructing my socks off to the old crime watch UK, and I don't know, maybe a Hollywood producer's in town. Okay. You know, he's at the Ritz. It's late. He's ordered room service, probably. Pastrami and dill pickle on rye or something like that. <laughs> and he's flicking through the channels. And he stops at a crime reconstruction. He thinks, who's this? <laughs> he's bloody good, <laughs> isn't he? <laughs> the next thing you know, I've got my own Winnebago and Cameron Diaz all over me like a rash. Oh, Here. What? Look at this. What? Look, read it for me. Please read it for me. The writing's all joined up. Go on, read it. <laughs> Linda. Although I am already spoken for, know that the love in my heart for you is the size of a small principality. <gasps> What's principality mean? <laughs> it's a country. It's a very small country. It's like Wales. It's very cruel. It's very cruel. I think that's really beautiful. Nah, someone's taking the piss. <laughs> Don't even bother to sign it. Any postmark? Sign delivered. <gasps> you know it's from, didn't you? <laughs> Yeah, some stingy bastard who couldn't be bothered to shell up for the cost of a stamp. Jeez! Oh. He's spoken for. And when I went out there, he got a tent pole. Did you see him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it must be awful for you inciting erections wherever you go. The the Metro Trafalgar Square was completely flat till you walked out. <laughs> Bother putting a stamp on it, eh, when he lives in the same house? It's Jay's. Give it to me. Doesn't look anything like Jez's handwriting. Well, he's disguised it, any, because he don't want Big Bird finding out. <laughs> oh, the poor boy, his heart must be breaking. Hmm, he'll soon be cured tonight, though, wouldn't he, eh? I, 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 I can't. I, I... <laughs> I can't sit around all day talking about piss taking missiles. I've got research to do. Now, Linda, how do you talk like that? What, what? Like a navvy in drag. <laughs> I've got the diction of a merchant ivory empress. <laughs> Look, would you help me, please, Linda, tomorrow? I've got to be a convincing granny basher. <laughs> oh, what would I know about that? Girl, you're so racist. <laughs> the slightest hint of a cockney accent. Don't mean to say I'd go around coshing old ladies, you condescending runt. <laughs> that is always a first time. I'm just coming down Sorrow to do the phone boxes for Reenie, so I need to know what time to be back. Why? Spinach and me go back a long way. Out, get her out of here. I used to be big pals with Popeye. He was one of my regulars. <laughs> You're not invited. Well, then, this house meal isn't really a house meal at all, then, is it? Um, no. <laughs> Congratulations on your audition. Thank you. Now leave. I must prepare. <laughs> Being cockney doesn't come easy to me. <laughs> what does? <laughs> Here's there's a football match being shown down the pub today. Louts are plenty for the study thereof. <laughs> to help you get into character, like, you know. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, thanks, yeah. yeah. Shall I see you about eight He's then? thinking of the guys. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Tom! Oh, I didn't want there to be another bird there. <laughs> Simon Shepherd. 
Simon <laughs> Shepherd, with your matiny idle looks and your smouldering bedside manner. Oh. <laughs> Inspire me. <laughs> Listen, darling, you might be knocking 80, but you're gonna get a bunch of fives, all right? <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> What you looking at? What? You didn't fight no war for me, all right? I'm deaf. Oh, forget it then. Get me one along in a minute. I will there. <laughs> Hello, fast track. Can I help you? Do you have an extension number for her, please? Well, no, then I can't. <laughs> Fast track, can I help you? Oh, bring it all up, love. Yeah. Uh, no, she's at lunch at the moment. Well, your guess is as good as mine. Yeah, I mean, she says she's on a diet, but there was a distinct waft of chips when I brushed past her at Elevenses. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, she's rough fat cow, isn't she? <laughs> Hi. Hello, fast track, can I help? Well, if you can't say please, don't bother to ring. <laughs> can you organise a bike for that? Yeah, maybe. Catch. Well, she's the office bike. <laughs> I like bikes. Great. I like to get out there and build up a sweat. Do you wear deodorant? What? I don't. I reckon the body takes care of that sort of thing. <laughs> Is that Liam Gallagher or Connor? Is it Connor Gallagher? Connor Gallagher plays for Chelsea, sorry. <laughs> That's Liam Gallagher, innit? From Oasis. I think. And that picture down there. Or one of one of the Gallagher is anyway. Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor, will you get out of my face? It's nice to meet someone so like minded. My wife wears body shop roll on. I haven't so much as touched her in three years. for outstanding achievement in a crime reconstruction goes to brilliant Tom Farrell for the Crime Watch <laughs> Granny Battle <laughs> A very popular choice in the hall this Tom Farrell whose portrayal of the wanted man in Crime Watch UK really plucked him from obscurity and turned him overnight into a household name Uh, are you taking the piss? Oh. Calm down, calm down. Do you like Oasis? <laughs> yeah, cos they wash, they're clean. Can't fool me. You're weird. You know what? I think's weird. Women shaving. Why do women shave? It's not the way nature intended, is it? Eh? Leave me alone. Anything interesting in the mail this morning? Yeah, free offer on Big Razors. Now, sum up! <laughs> Drinking here? What are you polishing the floor for? Nice. I'm not one to eavesdrop, but <laughs> that's been happening every 30 seconds since 4:15. What? <laughs> Who's knocking her about? <gasps> oh, you got to feel sorry for the bird, ain't ya? I mean, it ain't her fault. She's not me. <laughs> 
Hi, Linda. Yeah, watch you, big boy. Everything's still on for tonight? You betcha. <laughs> Brute! Gosh. <laughs> this is jolly good fun, isn't it? It's better than Alton Towers. <laughs> yeah, I love a good ride. <laughs> uh, I need to go and get some wine for later. Oh, wine makes me tipsy. <laughs> Can't wait. Oh, ciao, baby. <laughs> All right, you puff. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. It's uh, what? You can't even dream of saying that. We shouldn't say that anyway. Today, you just know. <laughs> but back then, we were so normal. Fucking hell. Indy, look at my profile and be honest with me. Be honest with me. What does this profile say to you? Retarded. <laughs> it says four years at the RSC. It says Julius Caesar, this does. It says Rupert Everett's younger brother in cricket flannels in an Evelyn war. It does not say East End villain on Crime Watch UK. I take it your research didn't go too well then. <sighs> it's about as successful as a comedy moment on EastEnders. <laughs> It's very difficult researching a role, isn't it? How would you know what it's like? The only time you've ever been on television was when you walked past the window on Richard and Judy. <laughs> You're such a sad bitch. <laughs> I've been on stage. I was the Virgin Mary in the Young Offenders Nativity Play. <laughs> you played our Virgin Mother, you blasphemous bint. I was a virgin. Well, until the dress rehearsal, anyway. <laughs> My performance brought tears to that innkeeper's eyes. <laughs> we never actually got to perform it for an audience because he ended up battering one of the three kings. <laughs> Why can't something like that happen to me? You know, all I want is for some nasty, vile East End thug to come walking through that door so I can just absorb him. And since that's not going to happen, I think I'll just retire. We're still going to have our dinner tonight, though, aren't we? Oh, no. Oh, Tom, please, please, I've mm. had my cat suit re-elasticated. <laughs> no, dinner is off. We have nothing to celebrate. Well, what if I was to tell you I could get your wife battering hooligan round here within the hour? That's a shut up, you lying slag. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, Tom. I'm a feminist, right? I would never condone violence against women. But it has got to be said, Suze has got the sort of face you just want to slap. <laughs> you trying to tell me that Jez is knocking her about? Has she told you this? Beryl told me. Beryl once told me she had a 13-year affair with Prince Philip. <laughs> Doesn't necessarily mean it's true. I heard screams. <laughs> she could have just been reaching <laughs> orgasm. You know what they're like. And although thus far no one has laid a finger on me in a violent sort of way, touch wood. <laughs> He said, I do attract bad ones. Oh, you don't still believe Jez sent you that card, do you? Well, I can't help it if you can't resist me come to bed eyes. You haven't got come to bed eyes. Oh, yeah. You? you have not. You've got to shag me up a back alley after 15 baby sham eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you only want him round here because you fancy him. I feel sorry for the lad. Stuck in a loveless marriage, pining over his mega babe neighbour. <laughs> I've got a big arch. Not half as big as your ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jez obviously likes a bit of gristle on his bow. Uh. <laughs> I mean, have you seen the state of that Suze? She's anorexic. You watch at dinner, she'll shove that food down her throat and then rush off to the bog with her fingers down. She will do no <laughs> such thing because they are not coming round. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do you know, you really disappoint me, Tom. Oh, really? I really thought you were serious about your acting. I am. Yet you're prepared to chuck away the chance of your big, fat break. I just don't wish to believe that Jez is a wife batterer. And what if he is? And you missed your chance. All right, dinner's on. Dinner's on, then. <laughs> <laughs> mm, what time are they coming? Eight o'clock, eight o'clock. <laughs> right. I'm just going to go and make myself look beautiful. OK, well, hurry up. We've only got Sorry. two hours. So what I've noticed that, I remember the last episode as well, he's so easily convinced. You can go, no, nah, I'm not doing it. Next minute, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. What a show. Lovely 
outfit, if I may say so, Linda. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I worked with a girl once who wore something similar. She met a very sticky end. How many? <laughs> <laughs> Ended up as a traffic warden in Bromley Barbo. Great. Tried to stick a ticket on my shopping trolley once. I decked the stupid whore. <laughs> oh, come right through. The door's on the latch. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, peeps. <laughs> Hi, pretty cat. <laughs> Slight technical hitch. Suze can't make it. Oh. She's left <laughs> embarrassed by her appearance. <laughs> That's it. I don't break bread with wife batterers, so if you don't mind, I'll be taking Maeve Binchy to bed. Lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> Weird chick, huh? <laughs> now, Jess, you stick your wine in me cooler. <laughs> Here. Sniff up, Jess. Me oven's up. <laughs> so, Suze can't make it because she's a little embarrassed by her appearance. Really? Oh, really? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me about it, eh? Tell us how it started. Did you just flip or something? Well, actually, it was a belated birthday present. Mm, huh? Whatever happened to Milk Tray? <laughs> she didn't ask for it. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> You're just a melting pot of angst and emotions, aren't you? Just sort of bubbling away under the surface. It's fascinating, because you're very calm, aren't you, Jez? Sorry? Jez, Jez, mm? have you heard of the word psychopath? <laughs> Is this some sort of word association game? <laughs> Gosh, I wish Suze was here. She loves free-fall wordplay. Yes. <laughs> But I bet you'd find it a little difficult with a broken jaw, eh? <laughs> hey? Hey? What do you think? Hey? Huh? What do you think? Hey? Oh, yeah. Hey? Come on, then. Put him up. Do you want to fight? Then you want to fight? Hey, go on. Deck him, Jace. <laughs> hey, why would I want to hit dear sweet Tom? Because you've just beaten up dear sweet Sue's. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> That's a very butch thing to do, isn't it? Laugh. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Laugh. Go on. Well, I'd better go and get her, then. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that, eh? No, no, no. I insist. Be back in two ticks. <laughs> Bollocks. Just started to enjoy myself. <laughs> Susan has been having some facial hair removed, and the electrolysis went a little bit wrong. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> My beautician was premenstrual. <laughs> Do you know, I am so lucky I haven't got the hideous embarrassment of having a moustache. Do you know what, Suze? I just remembered who you remind me of. David Seaman. <laughs> is that the former England goalkeeper? <laughs> I think it is anyway. Let me know. Let me see. Dare you not be a wife batterer? How bloody dare you? I could sue you for loss of earnings. They thought I was trying to beat you up, Kitty Lips. <laughs> <laughs> I never. He was just picking on you because you was black. So, how did you two crazy cats meet? In a nightclub. Now, shut up. Oh, how romantic. No, darling, they're not an item, remember? No, I'm young, free and single. <laughs> anyway, Tom's gay. Yes, of course. Why do I always forget that? So obvious. Shut up and eat. Shut up and eat. <laughs> Shut up and eat. I met a gay person once. Well, it was more of a lesbian. <laughs> I'd gone to a convention of accountants at this hotel in Droitwich. Anyway, I must have gone oh, into the wrong stop. bar because I ordered my eggnog. And the next thing I know, this woman has got her tongue down my throat. She was a bus conductress called Gwen. Do you know her? <laughs> no, I don't know her, no. She had blonde hair. Mm. <laughs> no, nope, still don't know her. And a very, very long tongue. Oh, for goodness sake, do you realise how offensive this is? I'm sorry. Just because Jez is black, do you expect him to know every single black person in the country? Don't be racist. Well, he knew every black person had eaten. Oh. <laughs> so, you met at a club. <laughs> Gosh, it's very clubby, isn't it? Yes. Mm, we were off our edge on E at the time. E? Ecstasy, you bizarre horse. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same as eggnog, is it? Yeah. It makes you think everybody's lovely. Oh, well, it is the same, then. <laughs> um... What? They've got to... <laughs> Jess? <laughs> Sorry. Baby. 
<laughs> You've got a bit of spinach out of your gob. Tom, that pie was delicious. Uh, really good. We'll have to get that recipe off you. We're always looking for fun things to do in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, isn't it, Tom? Studying heterosexual man in his natural environment. Yes. I haven't had so much fun since I had my hemorrhoids lanced. <laughs> do you get that problem? No, I don't, Susan. Just a vague swipe at irony. But with you, irony's rather like Concord, isn't it? Way over the top of your head. <laughs> There we go. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> Jess, mm -hmm. have you ever been to one of those um, uh, footy ball things, matches? Oh, Jess loves ball games. Mm -hmm. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> so you could be quite sort of macho so on the pitch, I. then, on the pitch. Well, I do like to get stuck in on a Sunday morning. <laughs> oh, that's my favourite time. <laughs> I tell you what we should do. We should all sing a sort of football-y type song. Really? Yeah. How working class. <laughs> yeah. I bet you got a voice like hot honey dribbling down a gangplank. <laughs> Come on, Jez, vamping on. Oh, <laughs> let me, let me. I know a brilliant one. No, no, no. I just need Jez to do this. No. Oh, please. No, no. You're no use to me at all. No. I'll scream. Listen, love. As a gay man, I can scream louder than anyone here. <laughs> Who ain't all the pies? Who ate all the pies? You fat bastard, you fat bastard, you ate all the pies! <laughs> Come on! Who ate all the pies? Who, Who ate all the pies? pies? You, you fat bastard, bastard, you fat bastard, you ate all the pies! <laughs> Gosh, it's so appropriate, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, Jez, give us a solo. You fat bastard, you fat bastard! Oh, shut up, you rake! Is it time you went to the bog? <laughs> I want a dance! Boogie! <laughs> I'm doing this with you, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I won't say a word. <laughs> Let's have a look. <laughs> right. What a garish piece of stationery. What? What does he say, love trumpet? As if you didn't already know. Dear Linda, although I am already spoken for, know that the love in my heart for you is the size of a small principality. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's taking the piss. Big time. <laughs> Give it back and get out. Go on, get out. <laughs> I mind you don't slip on the slippery floor, Suze. I'd hate for you to end up in traction. <laughs> you fat bastard, you fat bastard! Yeah! <laughs> oh, Linda, you're such good fun. You're full of surprises. Isn't it amazing how plain girls always have such super personalities? Wow. <laughs> Piss off! <laughs> well, I think that I must live with the thickest most stupid person on the planet. He did send this to me. You sad slapper! <laughs> well, he couldn't say anything in front of Kiri Tikawana, eh, could he? <laughs> What's your pudding? EastEnders. What? Taped it. It's my last hope. I think I'll study one of the Mitchell brothers, I think. <laughs> Phil. Yeah. Phil Mitchell. I think I'll study Phil. You know, the alcoholic one with ginger fuzz around his lips. <laughs> <laughs> Ring any bells with you? <laughs> Vile. <laughs> I'm having a bath. <sighs> Rather pleased with the pie, though. Do you see the way he licked his plate? <laughs> At least someone's in for a good night. Think about it. I'm going to check the post. I watch it. What? Well, you shy woman. I've just about had enough of your whinging voice, all right? Exactly. <laughs> Tom? 
Oh, you're having a laugh, ain't you? Tom! Oh, leave it out. Oh, Tom, you're walking. Oh, shut <laughs> it, you slag. <laughs> Oh, Lindy. I'm so excited here. Here, break a leg. Yes, yes, I will. <laughs> Darling, you didn't show. I've had a dreadful day. The musical was a nightmare. Sue Pollard was sharp, the champagne was flat, and now this. Well... They're doing the reconstruction without you. They're using Jason Orange. X, take that. I hope you're satisfied. <laughs> because break a leg and he actually did. Oh my God. It's one of them shows that you have to be ready to laugh, man. There's so many innuendos in this show, man. I absolutely love it. I feel like you stand to know, obviously, them two are the main characters. Then they got the landlord, the, sorry, the landlady, and uh, Jez and Susan, the other girl. And we got that creep that was watching outside. So he sent her the letter earlier, and but she told us jazz. But yeah, good show, good show. I'm really, really enjoying it so far. Really enjoying it. It must have been big, big back in the day when it first came out. Yeah, I'm gonna try and post it every Friday, and I'm posting Steel Game every Monday. Make sure you guys check out my other channel, Eddie the Captain, as I'm posting uh commentary, social, what's going on in in, in the world. I can react to that kind of stuff. It's not really comedy, but it's like my backup channel in case something ever happens to this channel. So you guys go subscribe to that. Eddie, the captain. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.